Yes, um, I've got two horses that will be added. Uh, Fernhill Eagle, who's uh, been to Kentucky now. This will be his third time, and uh, I'm hoping could be quite competitive. He's now a 12-year-old, and uh, yeah, the dressage has always been our weakest link there, and uh, I've done a lot of work, and uh, he's started to come around there. So, you know, I'm hopeful that uh, you know by Kentucky he should be pretty competitive. Um, he's an Irish bred horse that I've had now for a few years. That uh, Sarah Kelly owns, and uh, you know, so I'm, I'm excited about his chances. Um, and the other horse is the one that I've had here at uh, Red Hills, uh, Mighty Nice, and uh, it's actually going to be his second time to Kentucky, and uh, he's a much more seasoned uh, horse now. He's, he's quite experienced for his age. He's uh, just a nine-year-old now, uh, but uh, you know he's in good form, and all, all three phases are starting to come together. So um, I'm hoping with some. Uh, luck. I mean, we've still got a long way to go you know, to Kentucky and uh, you're always you know, trying to get them fitter and uh, more trained and it's a balance how much you do. So, uh, you know, and, but uh, at this stage I'm really excited about the, my chances and uh, looking forward to a great event. They're both uh, big strong horses. Um, in the dressage, um, you know, there's a lot of work goes into keeping them relaxed and, uh, and uh, not getting too wound up. Uh, which is hard for an event horse when they're so fit and uh, you know ready to run on the cross country. Uh, they're both very good cross country horses. Again, both get a little bit strong, so I have to sort of uh, pick and choose when I go fast uh, and uh, try to, especially at the beginning of the course, I try to let them saddle and understand and, and think about the jumping rather than just panicking or not panicking but rushing it too much. And then in the show jumping, uh, you know, it's a case of going back a little bit to the dressage side of things and getting them uh, waiting and it's soft and uh, relaxed. And uh, so, you know, they're both both really individual horses, uh, but in some ways they have a bit of a common thread there that they're both they they're pretty big, strong horses, and it's more keeping them contained than uh, trying to urge them on so much.